Good morning. What's happening out there in G Land today? Hope everybody's doing well. A little bit late getting started today, trying to motivate the old body, didn't want to move. So, uh, I woke up and just laid in bed for a while. Laid there some more, laid there some more. Finally, I got up, made some breakfast, and got out here and got started. Body was like, please don't make me sweat. <laughs> like, Come on. Got to get it done. Whew, it's warm already. I mixed some cement. Already got it mixed up. I finished a little late the other day when I made this. So you didn't see it very well. But that's going to be the roof over top of the lady. So there's the cave, top of the roof, coming around here on top of the lady. So you can see what I built in better light. So what I'm going to do today is just put cement right here and all the way around the edge, up on top, up on top of here, and around the edge only. And then let that go off because that'll hold this still. It's, there's a bracket under. There's a bracket under there, but it doesn't hold it from going this way. It just holds it going that way. So I'll put the cement on, and that'll hold it still. Same all the way around the outside edge on top, across the top of there, and back down and the same at the other end. Then when that goes off in a couple days, I'll start putting more on. I'll put a quite a thick coat on, I think, today. And then let go off for a couple days. Maybe, well, it might even be dry tomorrow, actually. See how it goes. And then I'll put a thin, thin coat on here. So it can start, like, right on the, on the uh, connection. Right on the connections. And then the cement will hold that so it can't move. And then you just fill in the gaps. So I'll get started now. You see how much I can get done. I'm just going to do that on around the edge, but I've got some other little projects. I'll come back and show you what I've been up to. Okay. I put the first coat on, and it's blended into the rock. See how it stretches over and grabs the edge? That's all I wanted to do today, because at the end of the bars, it's loose. This one's actually clamped, so it can't go up and down, but it can go this way, back and forth. So now it cannot. Once that goes off, everything will be locked in place. I put a little bit of cement in the middle to hold the four bars together. Three bars. This one goes straight through and they join it the middle. What do you think? Will it do? And I put a little bit over here because there's a little bit of metal showing through. There's a better view of the pan now. It's not finished yet. I want to put some really thin sand and cement in. What I got now is coarse sand. So I want to get the thin sand and then coat the bottom with it. Just get all those lumps out. But it's quite nice now. I, I like it the way it is now. Well, it looks like it's going to work. I just got it propped up with an old broomstick. And I put it on, let it sit for a little while, smooth it a little bit. Looks like it's going to hang in there, so I'll let that go off first and then I'll cover the rest of it and make it flat underneath. I want the water to come down from that little jet down and flow over it and make a splash in the pool. I don't want it to run down the wall. These two probably will a little bit. So now what am I going to do? I'll come back and show you in a minute. I like the lip the way it is. I took it all apart. And I thought, you know something? I want it to be just a little bit bigger. You know, project out into the pond a little bit more. So I'm going to bring it out about two more inches. I think that'll do the job. Okay. Done for the day. Whew. Hot. Jan came and she says, it's like a oppressive heat with no air. But there is a breeze. So... But you don't want to be out in it, but I'm here. 
she says, why don't you just finish? It's like throw the cement away and finish. And I said, I can't because, you know, I got to keep going. And even though, you know, summer's here, it's hard for me to get out really, really early. I need to try to, but I got to move this thing here, the tarp, loosen it at the back and pull it tight at the front. Cause um, the sun has come up, you know, it's getting into summer. So the sun's above the head now, not over, over to my, left behind the waterfall so um the whole wall is in the sun now so i gotta move the tarp over so i can lay the bricks in the shade let me show you what i've done so far today i can't zoom in anymore but i don't know if you can see that bird beautiful tropical bird there there's that bush in front just underneath the bush to the right oh, he's got his back to me now you won't be able to see him okay that's looking pretty good to me I'm very happy with that. So when the water comes down the chute, it hits that and it can spray and it will definitely fall in the water now. So I'm very happy with that. Leave it alone. Probably need touching up. You know, the other day I did it and it didn't crack at all. But it, now it's hot, hot. So it's trying to crack. I think it will be okay. Prickly heat tin in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I think it's going to look nice. I tidied up a lot of these little divots that had um, metal showing and cracks and stuff all along this wall. I put put that little bit of cement underneath that lip, but then I washed it away with the paintbrush until the lip was standing out proud still, so it didn't make it dribble down the wall happy with that so I've made that bit stronger and then later when that's dry I'll come back in a couple of days when it's dry dry and take that block and piece of wood out and then join can you see the lip where the block is there's a little divot there so I'll fill that in and then that means that chute will have some more support and the same with this one very pleased with it. It's coming out better than I thought. Finish that other planter. What I'm going to do is what I'll do here is I'll drill a hole right down there in the corner. So any water, because this is because this is going to splash, this is going to get a lot of water. So I'll put a hole in here. So any excess can flow into this one here, keep that wet, and then it'll come out this little hole down here and back to the pond. I had a lot of cement left and it's getting too hot, so I laid four blocks, as you can see there. I put all that contraption on top to keep the sun off it so it can dry at a reasonable speed. But that's a little bit more of the pool done. Once I move the once I move the uh, tarp, then this will be in the shade. And then I can sit here and lay bricks along this wall. So I've only got about ten feet left to catch catch that one. And the little bit I had left, I skimmed that wall there on the right and started skimming this one here. So I've just got that little bit there to do now. It didn't seem like a lot when I was doing it, but there's lots of little fiddly things. So now, no more fiddly things to do. The next thing I think I'll do some plumbing, finish the plumbing in the, in the cave, and at the same time do the plumbing for this the, the, the thing up here above the, the lady's head. I'm gonna turn that one into a little waterfall I think I'll do that before I try to put cement on the top so I can see what I'm doing. So there's just a little tiny bits of fiddly things to do left now. And after that, fix the ground, do the wall, let that go off for about three or four days. And then I can order the uh, cement for the pond floor. Getting there. And then there's skimming of the internal wall, electricity, painting. So. Part of me is like, I can't do it anymore, I'll wait till next year, but I think I have, 
I think I can I'm on top of it so I think I can get it done maybe have like every other day or something or every third day and I can get it done but my, what I need to do is go to bed early early and get up early early and get out here and work before the Sun can get me anyway guys I hope you enjoyed it's coming along getting exciting all the very best buckets of blessings rivers are peace joy and kindness look after yourselves see you later